Hurricane Katrina, more like Hurricane Tortilla. Did you enjoy the intro? Okay, Flippers, it's me, Carly. Just today, I'm vlogging, maybe a few more days, because I am in my first ever hurricane. Um, I moved to Nova Scotia about two weeks ago. I've never been in a hurricane, because those don't happen in Ontario, at least where I am, or anywhere else in Ontario. And this is like a thing here, so we are not prepped and ready. All the stores were sold out of everything because I did it last minute. I don't have really many per non-perishable foods. I just have chips, so... I'm dressed, sweats and a sweater, and we're going to get in the car, and we're going to go for a drive. Um, I need to pull out money in case their power goes out. Like, they said the power's for sure going to go out, so like I'm already... I know what it is. So when the power goes out, there's not going to be a way of paying for things. Um... I don't have any cash, so we gotta go to the store. Okay, this is a heavy camera because I don't have my vlog camera, so let's skidoodle. Yeah. But you gonna say heavy smart Okay, guys, it is crazy. I just ran into the TD to get money in case the power goes out. I won't have any cash um, or ways of using money, so I went to get some cash. I had a lot of trouble opening my door. Um, it's getting a little crazy. This is. Like, here's this tree blowing and the car I can feel like shaking a bit it's not too bad yet I'm going to this lady in the TD told me to go to Cant I don't know what that is she said it's a like a camp store so I'm more likely to get flashlights there so I will try <laughs> I just got to the apartment and I'm starting to put stuff away I got uh, this like three-in-one flashlight kit oh and it comes with like screws so that's really cool um, like a screwdriver kind of thing. It's an eight and one and then it also gave me like a lantern light and a flashlight And they're really good. I tried them out. They're amazing I should have gotten more than one kit just because of how good they were frosted flakes Just in case I don't really eat cereal. I just bought this nest tea and look at the bottom Ew, they're like open then I got these and then I got nugget teriyaki Cleo's chilling on the floor I went to McDonald's. I was in line for half an hour before I got my food because I guess everybody needed some McDBs. And I got like three coffees, one I'm gonna have now and two just in case it's a two day blackout so I can have coffee for. I got two cases of water yesterday so I'm prepared on water. And also I have a Brita filter so that's good and it's full. So right now I'm just gonna sit on the chairs with Cleo and I'm gonna eat my McDonald's, my nuggets and watch some TV. Okay, yeah, so it's the middle of a hurricane, but I'm gonna do laundry because I lived here for two weeks and haven't done that yet. So let's put stuff in the laundry. I've never really done laundry by myself before. It's kind of a, a thing because when I do laundry, I do it with my, with my, I did it with my mom and I turned every another color. I turned it all pink. Cleo is here. She's right there. She's pretty cute. I'm kind of obsessed with her. I'm not too sure what I'm doing. I'm just trying my best. Towels are supposed to be washed separately. I've been informed by Jaden. Thanks, Jaden. You're a G. <laughs> Cleo. Ew. It's everywhere. It is. That's too much. Come here. Okay, bye. I just saw the lights flicker. Did anybody else see that? Okay, let's go upstairs and hand wash. We're in the dark. I have my new flashlight out. It's actually really good. I don't need it that much. I'm just doing laundry. That's why I have it out. Because uh, there's still a lot of light outside. Power went out, came back on, and I was like, whoa, do we have a backup generator here? But we don't, because it went out again, and it's been out for a bit now. Sadly, my laundry did not get to finish before it went out, so I'm just leaving it down there. I'll deal with it when we get power again, even if it's in a few days. Hopefully it doesn't get, like, gross, because there's water, and they're, like, wet and in a clump. I might have to check on it. I'll check. Um, I've been doing laundry, so I'm doing my hand washing, because we still have running water. So, just got, like, delicates and leotards and leggings that I'm hand washing, so... Just working on that right now. Uh, cleaned the sink and all the countertops. Cleaned my um, new table and probably sleep and mop. And then clean the toilet 
and then I'll be done with cleaning. Uh, I'm trying not to go on my phone because I have my phone battery, my portable charger, and my laptop. Um, I can like charge my phone with it. So I'm really covered for battery, but I don't want to risk not having so. Okay, so I wanted to see how it looked outside because I can't, it doesn't look like very bad from the back of the parking lot. Uh, my room like views the parking lot and then the other side of the building views like the ocean and it's really nice uh, when it's not a hurricane. So I'm just at like the side door right now. So that's the ocean. It doesn't usually look that choppy. Um, the parking lot doesn't look too bad other than you can, yeah, you can like kind of see the the rain being pushed. Outside kind of like usually you can see like water and it looks like water. But right now it looks, oh, I'm not focused, hey. Right now it looks like concrete. Like I know it's moving. Oh, I see a duck, that's so sad. So it's, it's something outside. Um, it looks like a horror movie. <laughs> Okay, we are actually approaching like into the hurricane at this point. Um, sorry, it's kind of like dark. So I was just sitting here and I heard a noise. It sounded kind of like thunder, but it was three trees just, or two or three, I can't tell, just fell simultaneously. Um, and I saw them from, oh, I hit my computer. And I saw them from my window. So that was actually really cool um, to see. I mean, it's not good, but it, it looked cool to just like. Cleo's chilling. I have cleaned the kitchen, the living room, the desk area. I organized my desk and I actually pulled it away from the window um, in case, cause there was like a bunch of, I pulled my desk away from the window cause there was like branch, there was like leaves um, flying into my window and I was worried that like a branch was gonna hit it. It's five now. The hurricane's supposed to come. It was nine then it was like noon. I think it's five. It's supposed to come at five, but I'm not sure. I've been listening to music all day while I clean because I don't have any other like noise other than the storm and that's like sketch. So I have 73% battery. I guess I'll show you guys outside because I don't know what else I'll show you guys. I don't know if it'll justify how like crazy the wind is, but I'm gonna try. But right there, oh, my finger, right here, um, like two trees fell there and then one fell like near those houses into the street. But it's so freaking hot here. I always have the windows open and I have a fan here and I have a fan in my bedroom and they go 24 seven, but uh, no wind now, no wind now. It's hot as hell, which I would expect it to be really cold because it's windy. Another one bites the dust. Another tree has hit the ground. There was like the colony of three and they, they down. Oh my god. I was gonna park there. Frick yeah. Oh my god, I almost parked there. I was Okay, I almost parked there because I was like, that's a better spot to park. Oh no, it's focusing on the rain. Yeah, so all those trees are down. I don't know if you can tell. Should I open the window? Is that a done goof on me? Oh, this side doesn't open, only the other side does. Right there. I almost parked there. <laughs> There's my car. It's coming in big. So I just came downstairs and there's this thing that's flashing and it says, it says trouble and it's flashing. Okay, we're heading down this hallway now. Okay, this is sketch. There's an idiot right there. Oh my God, bro, why are you standing outside? Can you see it? I can see ducks in the water and I'm kind of concerned for their lives. There's the skyline, it's really pretty, but it's not like this. I'm gonna poke my head out. Welcome back to the horror movie. These are my feet. So it got really chill out, so I thought I would go outside and like check it out. And uh, it ain't too bad right now, it's just raining. It's kind of heavy, but like, like, I would drive in this normally. Uh, this is what it looks like outside. Bunch of trees fell down like that, that, oh, or my finger, that away. My key isn't opening the door, and I don't know why. I swear I've used it before. Are you kidding me? I'm going for a run. <laughs> I'm wet. And so is the camera. 
ran around the other side of the building. It's raining. <laughs> um, can you see? We survived. Good morning. It is the next day now. Uh, it's a lot brighter, but there's still no light. It's just because the sun is out now. Well, there's no sun out, but it's like gray skies, but they're it's nicer. <laughs> um, Cleo's here. I was just cleaning up because I left kind of a mess yesterday as I couldn't really see much. And I didn't feel like cleaning also. So I figured that I was going to go to the car. I can charge my phone and then I can show you guys the trees that fell on directly outside and then maybe we'll go drive around and I'll show you guys all the like terror. <laughs> the power is supposedly not to be restored <clears throat> until Monday or Tuesday night. I'm hoping that it'll be earlier than that but like keeping my hopes low so they're exceeded. Well, I'm outside now. It looks a lot nicer than yesterday but like over here you can see the dark is how high the water got. So it's a little lower now. Okay, so I parked in the front. So we're gonna go. <laughs> so we're gonna go look at the fallen trees. And then we'll get there. Fallen tree. Windy. <laughs> Not even a dent. Yeah, so like a bunch of trees over there fell. So I'm driving, I'm in traffic right now because every intersection is a four-way stop. There's no power in like mostly all of Nova Scotia. Either it's Bedford or near Bedford has power. So I'm driving there to go get some Tim Hortons um, because I'm not hungry, but I'm gonna get hungry and there's nothing but chips because I did not do shopping for this. And I don't like canned foods, even if I, like I found some stuff, but I don't want like canned corn, it's disgusting. Like, not, nothing's in the streets. They did a really amazing job of clearing the streets and, like, putting up caution tape on, like, trees that are falling over. And some of the trees, like, took the sidewalk up with it, which is ridiculous. I've never seen that before. Oh, this area has light. Yay, I found light. Okay, goodbye now. I have a green light. Oh, holy... What? That's crazy. I just ordered my Tim's. We are making headway in line. Something really weird is happening. Service is down. I think she goes, she's on the phone with Jessica. <laughs> we were on FaceTime and then it just like really randomly cut out, which was weird because I had full bars. You have full bars, but no L there was no LTE. And I just reset my phone and there's no service. You can't see anything. So I've been driving for like two hours, I think. Um, I really want to go to Halifax because I haven't been since I moved here. And I am having a lot of trouble getting there. First, I went to Bedford because I was told they had power, but they did not, at least in the area I was in. Then I was like, oh, I really wanted to go to Halifax. So I put it in my thing and it took half an hour to get like to where I am because there's a lot of like lights out areas and that means it's all four way stops. But I was, I live really close and then I went super out of the way and had to come back kind of thing, so. Okay, I just drove for like two hours. I got food, I wasted a lot of gas, but I figured I should get out of the car to give you guys some good content. I'm in the Halifax side, found a little area with some trees blown down, so I'll show you those. He's down and then in the road, there's an actual tree. I will get a little closer. I'm not trying to like exploit people's problems. Like obviously it's bad and it's not really funny, but I figure make light of a situation. Tree down and it took the power lines down with it. So that was my exploring. I finally made it to the Halifax side. So now I'm gonna go back um, to my apartment and sit in the like dark. It's still sunny so it's not going to be dark yet. And do some reading, which I don't want to do at all. Okay, home James. This house has got power lines down. Okay guys, so light! It's um the night time now. Uh, not too long ago the power went back on. While I was in Halifax, I went back over and I got some because I was looking for Wendy's but I did not find a Wendy's that had power so I got Starbucks 
and I have my peach drink here. I went through the fridge and got rid of everything that went bad, which was just about everything. Tomorrow we grocery shop and sitting in the freezer. I just got bagels and I don't have Wi-Fi, but it'll be up soon. Their tower lines were taken down, so that's just the story. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching this hurricane vlog. I hope it was entertaining. I'm I know it's a very serious situation and it was scary. It's I'm literally alone. Uh, I'm just trying to make light of a situation. I know there were some fatalities, so Take a moment to hope for safety for everyone whose homes were affected by this. There's a link in the description to a donation page for this hurricane. Thankfully, I think it ended up being a cyclone. I'm not sure though. Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys all next time. Have a good week. And stay safe, everyone. Keep on flipping. Bye.